right now the Kiwi, I'm out again. This one rang up as a 90. Um, can you hear that? Let's have a look. It's a Mentos or a something tin. Eclipse. Fresh breath. Thank you. This rang up as a 57. Right here. And we have. Look, look at the beauty. The reveal. The pull tab. Now, really tiny little things really, really are hard for me to find or even see. But this little tiny thing drove me nuts. There we go. It's a little thing. Jeepers, did this scream in my ears? Nice, even 74, which I knew what it was. Bottle top or a crushed can. A can of goodness. Not. Whatever it is, is in here. Oh! That's a dollar. That was ringing up as a 68. And a full circle. Nice! Okay, let's have a look. Eek! God, that's... We've had rain and rain and dryness. to it that's here somewhere eee, shake it out shake it out yeah. now the thing that gets me about this machine is the fact that it says two bars down even when you go concentrically all around it and it doesn't work still saying it's down here somewhere <laughs> and there it is it's another dollar Hmm. I didn't find any last week. <laughs> but I have now. Is it keeping the tradition alive and well? Okay, this next target rang up as an 80 or 90 and an 88. Um, and it is another old. Oh, it's a penny in New Zealand. One penny. Hang on. I need to get my glasses on for this. Just have a look. And to be honest, this is the first penny I found. I found a half penny. So yeah, hang on, I'll be right back. I am back. Had to use this. Woo and we have a 1943, because it is a King George. Hey, your majesty. So home have a look and I'll add some more information about it okay
sweetness. Sure. And what do we have here? We have a little Australian. We'll take it in a shot. Five cent piece. Not a spendy, but still nice. Thank you very much. And another 50 cents. Show that. The endeavour. Nice. Well, it's an old 50 cent piece, but if we send them to our reserve bank, they will cash them in for the value of what it is. So, yeah. Nice. Thank you. Now, I was t t t testing my skills of Nostradamus predicting when it rang up 52, and I went, it's got to be a nice pull tab. It's shiny, and it is a pull tab. Skills. And we have another. Old 50 cent piece. Jeez, we're getting a flotilla. Still nice. And it's 1980. Oh, let's have a look. 1988. I was older. Just as a heads up, I'm on park mode 2. Um, ground balanced and change my frequency to 33 to 3 F3 and my pinpoint is still going and not bad hmm what do we have here I don't know looks like a broken lipstick case Always take something home for the little woman. That's a bit sexist. I take something home for the wife. Yeah. Um, I'm in park mode two. Uh, sensitivity one down and um, ground balance to about 70. And on frequency three. I found that doesn't interfere with my pinpointer. It's a round thing. Looks like something of jeans. Goes well with the zips I've gathered over the weeks. It's always a bonus when you leave with more than you came with. Ten cents. The obligatory. Let's get a nice shot. Shot! Wow, I have not seen one of these in years. It looks like a puffball. I'm not going to do anything to it. But hear the beating of the drum. Ooh, I think I have a bit of a spill. You know, you would have thought I would have learned by now to put my glasses on so I can see. Slow learner, even at my age. Be right back. So, there we go, two 10 cent pieces from the same little hole. It's nice. And um, I'll find out what the dates are. 1974. I was uh, old, duh, than I was when I was born. And, hang on. Give it a look. Nope. Yes, just wiping it on the jeans. And we have. Still can't figure it out. Oh well, later on. I haven't recorded much because uh, it's sick to death of puddle caps. But, as I keep saying, metal detectors are the cleaners of the world. And this one rang up as a nice 68. And just 
picked it up and pop! Comes a nice little spendy. Year 2010. Thank you. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Little locking mechanism. Hmm. Okay, scrap pile. Must be 10 cent day today. The last time out was flotilla day. So, another one. Oops, there it is. Thank you. Hey, yep. Always recheck your holes or just around it because you never know. Yeah, just never, never, never know what's going to pop out of the ground. Thank you. I was thinking this was a bottle cap because it had a little pop at the end of the signal. But no, it's another spending. Another dollar. 1990. I'm going down in the years. Hmm. And two dollars. One thing I have learnt in my little time doing this is when going around trees, go around the same spot twice in a circle. Because I missed that the first time. Sweet. Thank you. Got up, moved from here to here and got another weird bouncy signal, signal, signal. Sorry, worm. Mm, sorry. And we have, whoopsie, there it is. And we have another contribution to now the Kiwi needs new glasses. I'm getting there, I tell you. Sure, and thank you. Ooh, link to the past. Sorry, gaming reference. Oh, well, all for the scrap pile. Thank you. Damn it. Foiled again. Interesting. I haven't filmed anything in a little while. Just, I've just dug some, a couple of more dollars and a 10 cent. So, but this is a little fishing weight in a paddock. Hmm. Nice. Into the scrap bucket it goes. I wasn't going to dig this, it was a pretty sketchy 69, 70, 70 something. I dug it, but look at that. That is the imprint of what I think is a 50 cent piece, which is down here. Or am I wrong again? That's a two dollar coin. I can admit when I'm wrong. Sweet. Thanking you very much. Zips and these things, clips, are a staple. Um, might put some CRC on that one because that's an actually good nick. I could use it. Yes. Very nice. So, thank you. It's windy and it's a comb thing. It's nice and hard. That's something I'd want to comb my hair with. Okay, sweet. Here we have a very old and crusty 20 cent piece. Hey, it's got the little kiwi on it. Hey, yes, he's well and truly uh, munted. Hey, yeah. But still, it's a good find. Well, I have an imposter. It's an Australian 50 cent piece. 2000. Whoa. Oh, 2016. 
not that long ago. Still nice, thank you. And to go with my flotilla of older 50 cent Endeavour coins, we have a modern 50 cent Endeavour coin. Nice, 2009. By Ian Rank Broadly, for those who know their coins. Well, there we go. Tweet! Ah, uh, this next one rang in as a 90, and I'm going to, what's a 90 come up as? And I am not kidding you, but I found another freaking dragon light holder! <laughs> oh, I found it on my last one out by the Pukitap River but wow interesting mm -hmm. and it still bloody works Cheer! <laughs> I don't know what you call a, a group of dragons but apart from dangerous but yeah sweet here we go here we go see ya it is Easter Sunday. I have no idea what it is. It is really tiny. So I guess let's put a put it down and have a look at the back. Oops. So here, I've got no idea, but it looks quite religious. Ironically, sorry to say, but it has arisen on Sunday. Strike me down. This is my final roundup for this search and seeking thing, detecting session. Um, over here we have our very, very shot to piece, 20 cent piece. Yeah. 1943 New Zealand one penny there's about 8 million minted in that year the year of, you know, yep a little flotilla of 50 cent pieces older type and the 10 cents older type 10 cents where, where there we go um, Australian Good old Aussie 50 cent piece and the Aussie 5 cent piece, the Kidna. And there is about $27 in spendies. This little brass lead tag thing. And yes, another dragon lighter holder. This one's not in so good condition, but Maybe on my next hunt I can find the mother of dragons. We'll see. And last but not least, this little, little religious artifact. I think it comes from a necklace or a little earring. But still, a find is a find. And on Easter Sunday, ironic. But yeah, with a cross and some other bits and pieces on it. And here's all the rubbish that I've discovered along the way. And bits for the scrap metal. Tent pegs. I'll keep this one. Comes in handy. Rubbish, rubbish. Whatever that is. More for the scrap pile. Another for the scrap pile. Scrap pile. This little lead weight, fishing weight. There's another one for the scrap pile. And as you see, the rest is just pull tabs, cans, an old lipstick container. Mmm. Put that on and 
the lid ish oh yeah that's it folks have fun out there be careful this is now the kiwi signing out <laughs>